Hi, Edgar. Hello. How are you? Uh, Good uh, evening. Good evening. So, so. <laughs> so, so. Why? Resting at home? Um, yes, yes. Ah, okay. but, but in my neighborhood, we have trouble because oh. of the coronavirus. Oh, really? Yes. Are, there, are there cases in your neighborhood? Yes. Three, three, three cases. Three cases. Oh my God. So you have to be careful, huh? Yeah, and the people are scared of no. Of course. Yeah. My, uh, I have a, a, a cousin. She's a doctor. Mm -hmm. And she is in church of One Seguro Social. And I was talking to her yesterday night. She told me that it's very dangerous. It's so, uh, you know. The, 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 the number of, of people infected is increasing a lot. Yes, yes. So she told me not to go to the supermarkets anymore, at least for two weeks, so we can buy the food online or go, go to a supermarket or any other place, but quickly, you know, just to take mm -hmm. the most important food because the, the virus is contaminating a lot of people now. Yes. Oh my God, so you have to be careful because of your son, right? Yes, always. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel the same because my daughter, you know, she's very little, she's three years old. And if that happens, children are taken to the hospital and we don't, as, as a father or as a mother, you cannot go with them, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, oh my God! So it's 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 true. I it's difficult. I understand to be inside the house, uh, maybe not working. is is very hard. But as people say, I think it's much better health than being yeah. sick with a lot of money in your pocket, right? Yeah, we have to pray. I hope we have to pray, and because we know this is something around the world. This is not Salvadorian government or. Yeah. Or people just the in war. no, this is around the world. If you travel to the United States, it's the same. If you travel to China, for example, they are having new cases and these cases. Mm -hmm. And it, it happened last year. So imagine, and they still have cases there. So it's something that I could never imagine. Remember, we were eating okay. pupusas. Yes, teacher. Very happy. Jalapeño. <laughs> yeah, in the last class, and we received this this bad news, right? And that's it. Here we are. Okay, but okay, you have to be positive, right? That nothing is going to happen, and take care of yourself and your family as well. Yes, thank okay. you, teacher. That's great, Ceci. Hello, Ceci. Xiaomi is here too. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Xiaomi? Hello. Hi, Ceci. Hi. I'm tired. Tired of working, right? Um, I worked out. Yeah, oh, really? Really. Exercise. A few minutes. No way. How many? Uh, 30 minutes. Oh, that's good. That's good. And that's nice. And do you do like, a, a, I don't know, a, you do like, like, like aerobics or with machines? Uh, aerobics. Aerobics. I, uh huh. You dance. I watch a uh, uh, video on YouTube. Great! Ah, oh, nice. Very good. Very good. You know, I always wanted to do that, but I feel like a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to. But but it's good idea. Very good idea. I have a bicycle, and oh. in the place where I live, I can ride a bicycle around my neighborhood. It's it's private. But uh, I feel like tired sometimes, like, no, I don't want to go. But my, all my family says that it's a good idea to do exercise because it releases the stress, right? It's good for the stress. Nice, yummy, congratulations. And you, Ceci, how are you? Andrea is here. Good evening. Hey, I'm tired. Yeah. Tired too of working yeah. or being at home watching TV? Working. I just finished my work. Oh my God. But you're working from home? Yes. Ah, okay. Thank God. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. good. Okay. So, mm -hmm. 
Where do you work, Ceci? In the diario de hoy. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have yes. to do many things there. Busy, yes. yeah? Very mm -hmm. busy. Okay. Yes. That's <laughs> nice. Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Hello, teacher. How are you, Andrea? Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Feeling cool? That's nice. Yader is here too, connecting. Okay, very nice, guys. Okay, I'm pretty happy to have you here. Okay, in my class, very punctual. Aleida is new here tonight. I don't know, she's uh, the first person to, to join the class, but today she's late. Or maybe she's not going to join us. I don't know. But that's that's nice. Okay, well, Hugo is here. Hi, Hugo. Ah, Aleida is here. Talking about Aleida, okay, Aleida is here, okay, welcome, okay, Juan Carlos, okay, welcome too. This is, okay, our class for, for tonight. We are going to study comparatives, okay, this is the topic that I'm going to explain today, and you're going to have a practice as well, okay? Obviously, okay, in order to talk about comparatives, we have to know some adjectives. I'm going to present some pictures, slides, you know, containing different adjectives. They could be long adjectives, short adjectives, adjectives which describe people, places, food, I don't know, different kind, okay? Uh, I hope you know most of them, okay? Because most of them are very uh, um, popular, okay? If you don't know, okay, the meaning of some of them, let me know, okay, and I can help you with the meaning, okay. I'm going to start, okay, displaying this with you, and we are going to practice, okay, about adjectives. This is something that we have to know before we start the topic, okay. Uh, let's start with the first one, okay. Uh, Ceci, I'm going to ask you, okay. I'm going to show a picture, and obviously the picture shows a opposites, okay? okay? So try to give me the, the, the adjective that you can see in this picture, please. Um, the children is younger than the uh, anciano. <laughs> the elderly. Oh. In the elder man. Or the, or the old man. Okay. So what is the adjective? What is the adjective for the child? The adjective for the um, child? Mm -hmm. Small. Old. Uh, small. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Young. For, young. Uh-huh. Young. Mm -hmm. And for the for the man? Old. Old. Okay. Old. Mm -hmm. Only the adjective. Old. Only the adjective. Old. Young. Okay. Old. Okay. Old. There we have. Young. Young old. and old. That's it. Young is for people, in this case, for a child, okay, or old, in this case, for the man, okay? For example, Edgar, you are a young, and teacher Iris is old, okay? That's it. We can say so. I am very young. Yeah, very, forever young, right? <laughs> okay, this is the first opposite. If you see, we have two adjectives, okay? Let's continue with this one. Okay, and let's see. Uh -huh. What is the representation with this picture? Xiaomi or Edgar, can you tell me? Uh -huh. I see Edgar has the microphone. Um, um, the devil? Uh -huh. I don't know. But the devil, devil in this case, uh -huh. okay, with the, what? Oh, bad, bad or good. Bad, bad or, or good. good. Okay, let me see. Bad. Oh, bad. Good. Excellent and good. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> bad and good. Let's see. Uh, Xiaomi, this is for you. Okay, tell me. What did this picture represent? Sad oh, and happy. Ah, okay. sad. This is sad. Happy. Happy. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's continue with the other one. Hi, Joanna. Joanna, this is for you. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, Joa. What is the representation? Tell me the adjectives. Mm, fat. Uh, fat. And thing. And thing, okay. Fat. Fat. Thin. And thing, excellent. Okay, very good, very good. Let's see, Juan Carlos, okay, tell me the adjective. Uh, the car, uh, uh, limp. 
y sucio. Como sucio. Ok, ajá, ok. If you don't know, don't worry. I'm going to help you, ok. Dirty. Clean. Dirty. This is dirty. This clean, is clean, clean, clean. 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 Uh -huh. And dirty. Dirty and clean. Yes. Okay. Sí. Dirty and clean. Good, good, good. Hugo, what about you, Hugo? Okay. What is the representation for okay. this? Look. Mm -hmm. And... No. <laughs> A little difficult, Hugo. Curly. Curly and... Mm -hmm. Carly. Carly straight. and aha, uh -huh, okay. Straight. And this is aha, uh -huh. uh -huh, straight. Liso, uh -huh. Hugo. Liso, okay. Straight. Okay, okay. Okay, very okay. good. Curly, straight. Aha, uh -huh, curly, straight. Very good. Next, Yader, this is for you. These are adjectives uh, which are opposites. Mm -hmm. Blonde. Blonde mm -hmm. and Brown. And brown, okay. Let's fair. See. Fair dark. and oh. dark. Okay, this is claro y como oscuro, right? Uh -huh. the okay. Fair and dark. Okay, this is for for the color of the hair. Okay, let's see. Very good. And let's continue with uh, the other one, Aleida. This is for you, Aleida. Similar to your pencil, Aleida. Mm-hmm. Aleida, are you there? Yes. Ajá, uh -huh, Aleida. Short, short uh -huh. and long. Let's see, short and short. long. Short. Okay, excellent. Long. Very good, very good. Short and long, okay, very good. Andrea, this is for you. Okay, Andrea. Uh, Look at this car and the other car. New and old. Okay, let's new. see. New. Old. Old. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Let's see. It. Uh, Edgar, once again. Mm -hmm. uh, tall and uh, small. Uh, okay. Let's see if that is the, 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 the correct adjective. Height. High low. and low, okay? This is for buildings, okay? So, for example, if you say a tower or a building, you say, oh, wow, that's very high, okay? Tall is mostly used for people. Short or is used for people. Small okay. for things and for a house or something, bien baja is low, okay? That's it. Very good, okay? Uh, Jader, once again, please, okay? This is for you. Um, tall and short. Tall and short. short. Uh -huh. Very tall. good. Uh -huh. Very good. For a person, you never say small, okay? That's for a person, you say short, okay? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Another person, Beatrice, okay? Beatrice, this is for you. This is a rock, okay? The representation of a rock. What is the, the adjective, Beatrice? for the rock and the adjective for the pillow. Um, it could be, I don't know. Hard Could and soft. Mm -hmm. yeah, Hard please. and soft. Hard and soft, okay, let's see. Hard. Hard, soft. excellent, very good. Uh -huh. the duro y suave, okay, very good. Okay, Beatriz, the next, the next, Beatriz. Okay, once again, maybe you know this one. Hmm, this is easy. Mm -hmm. Ugly and pretty. Okay, ugly, ugly. very good. Good looking. And good looking or pretty, beautiful, etc. Okay, very good, excellent. Good looking. Good looking is one way. You can say pretty or you can say beautiful, okay? No problem. Ugly, very okay. nice, okay? There we go, okay? Joanna, once again, we have here, okay? Um, maybe easy and difficult. Okay, easy, easy. excellent. Difficult. Difficult, excellent, very good. Easy, difficult, very good. Cecilia, okay? This is for animals. This is not people. Mm -hmm. 
Ini uh-huh. tall. Ini small. Okay, let's no. see. Small. Small. Big. And big. And big. Okay, yes. For people is short and tall. For buildings, you can say um, low and high. And for animals, in this case, small and big. Okay, that's it. Very, very good. Okay, there we go. Uh, Hugo? Okay. Uh, fast. Mm -hmm. And furious. Uh, slow. <laughs> and slow. Okay. Slow. Let's see. Slow and fast. fast. Excellent. Very good. Fast. Very good. Okay. Excellent. That's it. Juan Carlos. This is for you, Juan Carlos. Mm. Rock, dura, dura y suave. Eh, no, sería rock y. Mire la representación. Look at the representation. Okay, here. Pesado y liviano. Uh -huh. Do you know? No? No, no, okay, no. Okay, I will help you. Listen. Heavy. Heavy. Light. And light. Okay, that's it. When uh, the rock is heavy and the feather is light, okay, liviano, okay, light. Por eso decimos, ay, hoy comí light, okay, solo me comí two hamburgers, okay, that's it. Uh, Xiaomi, let's see Xiaomi. Opposites. Look at the picture. Noisy. Aha, uh -huh, noisy. That is this, and this is. No idea. No, no idea. I know. Okay, okay. Quiet. Quiet. Noisy. Quiet. And noisy. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Quiet and noisy. Very good. Okay. Quiet. Then we have Narrow. this one, guys. Narrow. Wide. Wide. That is a uh, angosto, ancho. Okay. Narrow. Wide, okay. We have this strong, strong, weak, and weak, fuerte, devil, strong, weak, strong, weak, okay, expensive, expensive, cheap, cheap. okay. Then we have in this case rich, rich, poor, and poor, okay, very good. Next, we have cold, hot. Cold, hot. This is other, okay. Look at the adjectives because those are the ones that we have to study today. Furious. Okay? Furious. Calm. And calm, okay. Furious and calm. Very nice. Then we have another one, okay. Empty. Empty. Full. Full, okay. Vacío, lleno, right? That's it. Next, we have. Wet. Okay, wet. Dry. And dry, okay. We have also hard here, working, hard lazy. working and lazy. The hard working is alguien trabajador en, a, en alguien aragán. Okay, that's it. Lazy. Next, we have intelligent, intelligent, stupid, and stupid. Okay, well, in the Spanish, if you say it's stupid, it sounds very, you know, like like such a bad word. But in this case, it's like tonto. Okay, it's not just like the word in Spanish, okay? Intelligent, stupid, okay? Then we have uh, this one. Friendly. Friendly. Unfriendly. Unfriendly, okay? Friendly, amigable. Y este es alguien poco amigable, okay? That's it. Antisocial, okay? Friendly, unfriendly. Here we have. Shy. Shy. Timido, confident. Confident. Alguien confiado, right? That's it. And shy which is um, a timido, right? Shy. And then we have... Kind. Kind. And am kind. Amable. Y alguien que es, este, que no es amable, sería alguien rudo, alguien, eh, okay? This is kind. And unkind. This is the opposite. Unkind. Antisocial. Next, and, eh, no, no. Este es alguien que, este es alguien amable. So, lo opuesto de amable viene siendo alguien pedante, quizás alguien ruto. Antisocial, eh, no. No, pero es alguien que trata mal a alguien, ¿ok? Sí, que, mm. que le, por ejemplo, 
por ejemplo, alguien que es este bien, bien pedante con los demás. Grosero. Sí, grosero. Grosero. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Esa es la palabra salvadoreña, grosero. Ok. Kind es alguien amable. El, el, el unkind, ok. Si alguien le abre la puerta del carro y el otro se la cierra en las narices. That's unkind, ok. That's it. Next, uh, we have this. Um, tired. This is tired, ok. Then we have, ok. Bored. Other one, bored, aburrido, ok. Cuando le pregunten, how do you feel? No diga boring, ing, no. You have to say bored. This is for a person, ok. How do you feel today? Ay, teacher, I am bored. Or you can say, I am tired. Look. Okay, this is for people. Uh, next, this is a hungry. Hungry, okay, Edgar, right? Uh -huh. And this is thirsty. Yeah, hambriento. Thirsty, sediento. Sediento. Thirsty, uh -huh. thirsty. thirsty, okay? And in this case, frightened. we have frightened. Alguien asustado, right? Okay. Frightened. Así como estamos nosotros ahorita. Yeah, for the coronavirus stuff and everything. Okay, we are frightened. Okay, that's it. And angry. Uh, angry. Okay, this is. And the last one, guys, we have here a fine. person who's fine. Okay, that's it. Those are adjectives, and I know some words are new for you, but most of them are um, are pretty pretty common. Okay, so why am I presenting a list of adjectives? Because today we're going to learn to compare, okay? And in order to compare adjectives, we have to know different kind of um, a vocabulary in this case like this, okay? So in English, guys, we have a, let's say like two groups of adjectives. Los adjetivos que son cortos y los adjetivos largos, right? The long adjectives and the short adjectives. So, here I am presenting to you the one syllable adjectives. For example, los que tienen una sílaba de ese, okay? So, fast, that's okay, fast, big, those are examples, right? Cheap, long, okay, these are examples. They have only one uh, syllable. When, uh, then we have another group, okay, uh, other adjectives which have two syllable adjectives. For example, happy, cra crazy. Look at the first one, this is fast, only one syllable, cheap, big, long. But in this case, you have two syllables. This is happy, crazy, okay very okay and also we have other group which is three syllable adjectives for example important look it has three syllables important other wonderful okay beautiful okay hard working okay so if you see there are adjectives which have just one syllable, two syllables, or three syllables, okay? So, what are we gonna do with these ones? Well, what is a comparative form? The comparative form expresses the idea of more. Es para que usted compare, okay? So you have to compare. Look at this. Mira esa regla, okay? Dice la regla que cuando el adjetivo tiene una sílaba, usted lo que le va a hacer es agregarle er. So when the adjective has one syllable, you have to add er. ¿Y qué significa esta er, teacher? What is the meaning of this? Es como que dijeran más. So, si fast es rápido, Cuando usted le agrega ER, está diciendo más rápido. ¿Ok? Fast. Faster. My car is fast. But his car is faster. Mi carro es rápido, pero su carro es más 
rápido, ¿ok? When the adjective has one syllable in this case, you have to add ed in order to make a comparative form, ¿ok? That's it. Look at this. Then we have, ¿ok? One syllable adjective, long, two syllable adjectives, miren los que terminan con y, este tiene dos sílabas, fa, ni, ok, eh, modern, ok, for example here, longer, long es largo, entonces aquí estoy diciendo más largo, longer, funny, miren qué hago cuando termine en y. I, E, R. ¿Qué pasó aquí, Beatriz? With funny. ¿Qué pasó, Beatriz, con la Y? Desapareció la Y. Disappeared and add I, E, R. Exactly. The letter Y disappeared, but you have to, okay, eh, add I, E, R. So, aquí yo detenía que decía... Divertido, ahora dice más divertido, ¿ok? Then modern, in this case, look more modern. Aquí dice que cuando tiene eh, dos sílabas o tres sílabas el adjetivo, ya no le voy a agregar er, sino que le voy a poner la palabra more. More significa más. El problema es que a veces el alumno se deja ir de un solo y dice more big, more easy, more, eh, for example, more short. Y piensa que a todo se le pone more, but this is not correct, ¿ok? More is with long adjectives, but in this case, if you have to say, for example, big, y quiero decir más grande, big es un adjetivo corto. It's a short adjective. So, you have to say bigger. Esto es fácil. Easy. Ah, easy. Ok, so es corto, el adjetivo es corto. Entonces yo digo easier. Ok. En este caso... Hay varios que tienen dos sílabas y se transforman como que fueran pequeños, ¿ok? Eh, hay unas ciertas como excepciones, por ejemplo, en this case. Y también tenemos este, que es good, miren, no se dice gooder. En this case, el, el adjetivo es better, ¿ok? So, better is, eh, in this case, se transforma como un adjetivo irregular. Okay, so in English there are some irregular, okay, for example, better, eh, better, está también good, no se dice, no está bad, for example, the opposite, malo, no se dice better, se dice worse, okay, and I'm going to give you, okay, this part, okay, um, in order to practice. The idea with this, okay, is to practice the comparative. So, look at the, the way we made the comparative form. It's so easy. This is not so difficult, but the idea is to keep in mind which adjective is long and short, okay? So, with short, okay, uh, adjectives, this is the summary. With short adjectives, you add, okay, in this case, you have to add er. ¿Ok? Y después, para comparar, pues le van a poner la palabra dan. Dan, no that. Some students sometimes say that. No. Then. Then es que. ¿Ok? So, ponen el adjetivo corto, ponen el AR y el then. ¿Ok? For example, and let's make a compare. ¿Ok? For example, eh, I can say... Uh, English, well, for me, right, because English is, y yo quiero usar este verbo, este adjetivo, perdón, ok, easy, easy, bueno, easy está en la regla de los cortos, entonces, ah, easy, entonces no voy a decir more easy, no, 
because this is short, you have to say, you have to follow the rule that I gave you already. Termina en Y. Ah, okay. I have to delete Y, add I, E, R. So I say easier than a math, for example. Okay? In this case, for me, it's, it's true. English is easier than math. But for Alegda, if she is a mathematician, she says mathematics is easier than English teacher. Okay? So, aquí yo estoy comparando el inglés con las matemáticas. Okay? Other example. For example, eh, let me see. Um, I'm going to ask, uh, in this case, Yader. Yes. Okay, compare eh, a dog and one cat, please. Dígame un adjetivo entre un perro y un gato. Um, the cat uh -huh. is... The cat. Busque un adjetivo que sea corto. Um, funny. Aragán. <laughs> ah, okay. divertido. Ah, very sí, good. Funny. So, uh -huh, funny. Okay. The cat is okay. Ahora queremos compararlo. ¿Qué hago ya there? What, what, do, what do I have to do Change. to make up? Uh -huh. uh, la Y por I y le agregamos R. Ajá. Uh -huh. Like this. Tan dog. Tan. Ajá. Ajá. Very good. The dog. Right? That's it. Okay, very good. Or you can say the cats, if you want to mention in general, are funnier than the dogs. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. And you are comparing, in this case, the cats uh, with the dogs. Okay, let's see another, another example. For example, I can say... Um, Pregunta, teacher. Uh-huh, ask me. The question is... Uh -huh. uh, in Spanish, el gato es más divertido que el perro. Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. sí. Okay. Thank exactly. you, teacher. Okay, that's it. Oh, other one, for example, I can say uh, Rambo. Okay. ¿Cómo diría yo, Hugo? Rambo es más fuerte que la tenchis. Uh, Rambo is... Uh -huh. Hard, harder. Uh, fuerte, fuerte. Es strong. Strong, ajá, ajá. Strong is okay. stronger than the tenches. That the tenches, ajá. Very good. Strong is short. It's a short adjective. So you add ER, ¿me? And then done. Okay. Then la tenches, right? Very good. That's it. So you see, this is the way we do it with short adjectives, okay? Hay otros, aquí se los voy a poner, que son los irregulares. For example, in the case of good, in this case, good, no me vayan a decir este, um, eh, gooder, okay, no, you have to say in this case, better, okay, y agréguele también better than, okay, of course. Eh, then we have eh, bad, okay, in this case, malo, Entonces tienen que memorizar porque no tienen regla, ok? Bad, worse, ok? With worse, that's it. Eh, then the other is, eh, let me see, good, bad, far, ok? De lejos, farther. So usted dice más lejos, ok? Good, better, bad, Worse, far, farther, okay? Those are irregular adjectives, okay? So if you want to say, for example, um, using this, my house is farther than your house, okay? No vayan a decir farther, así no, no, this is not, okay? So you have to say farther than, worse than, better then okay so this is with a small short adjectives okay what about if i have long adjectives okay um for example i can mention long adjectives okay in this case aquí le pongo el dan 
pero el comparativo va a ir aquí, ok? More, ok, and then say, así sería la, la estructura para los largos, mire, ok? For example, give me examples, Hugo, for long adjectives, please. Give me three examples of long adjectives. Intelligent. Intelligent. Give me other. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Other. I'm sorry. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, great. Uh -huh. Hard working. Right. Important. Right. Those are long adjectives. De hecho, solo los mira y ya se nota que son largos. Right. Friendly. Ok, unfriendly, polite, ok, because these adjectives, the one we have here in this category, they are very short, ok. So, I can say there, ok, for example, eh, I'm going to ask, eh, let me see, Andrea, compare please, compare la casa de papel versus... Uh, the Walking Dead, the series. Okay, the... Use si quiere el adjetivo interesting or boring, okay. right? I don't know. Uh -huh. uh, the house paper. Uh -huh. The name is in Spanish. Uh -huh. Ok. Porque es una, la, un casa de uh -huh. la casa de papel. Uh -huh. is, is more uh -huh. interesting uh -huh. than The Walking Dead. Ah, ok. Very good. Than The Walking Dead. Ok. You are comparing. La Casa de Papel es una serie, right? The Walking Dead is another one. So for you, it's more interesting. Pero quizás para Edgar es not a teacher. La Casa de Papel is more boring. <laughs> okay, than The Walking Dead. I don't know. It depends on your opinions, right? That's it. Another one. Uh, let me see, for example, Aleida. Uh, compare, please. Okay, compare using the word uh, beautiful. Mm, compare okay. something, a person, okay? Well, two people in this case. Alinda is more beautiful than <laughs> Edgar. <laughs> oh my God, is more uh -huh, beautiful than Al uh, Edgar. Edgar. <laughs> El guard. Okay, that's it, okay. Is, is it true? <laughs> well, you see, as an example, it's really good grammatically, right? That's it. Porque uso more, because beautiful is a long adjective, okay? Long adjective. That's it. Okay, another one is Ceci. Please, okay, uh, tell, okay. Me, tell me a sentence comparing something with a, a long adjective. You can use, for example, furious, right? Furious, you can use, a, let me see another one, a polite, alguien amable. I don't know. The rabbits mm -hmm. are more in entertaining than dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Entertaining than dogs. Dogs. Ah, okay. Very good. That's it. Personal opinion, right? The rabbits are more entertaining than dogs. Look, entertaining, beautiful, interesting. They are long adjectives. So that's why you have to use more. Okay. That's it. And if you are using a short adjective, okay, you have to use here as ER. Si el adjetivo termina en Y, ¿qué va a pasar? Le quita la Y y le pone la I latina. I, E, R, plus, then. Okay? That's it. 
hay ciertos adjetivos que son de tres letras. Por ejemplo, big. Miren cómo se pone el comparativo. ¿Qué pasó, Beatriz? What happened? Uh, we add another G, E, and R for the comparative e with other. Very good. You see? We double the letter G. Excellent. Thank you, Beatriz. That's it. ¿Por qué? Porque llevan esta, esta tres letritas en una terminación de consonante, vocal, consonante. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Ok. Big, B, girl. With double G. Ok. That's it. That's it. In this case, we have this one. Por eso, no se vayan a asustar que algunos llevan doble, doble letra. Ok. That's it. In this case, guys, these are the three. Please pay attention to these three. Good, bad, and far. Better, worse, and farther. Okay, that's it. Do you have questions or comments related to the, the explanation? Comments? Mm -hmm. Usualmente esto tiene que seguir, ok, um, para que se duplique la última letra, ok. That's it. Consonant, vowel, consonant, ese orden, ok. That's it. No questions, because right now, guys, you are going to practice, ok. This is what we are going to do, ok. I'm going to stop sharing this, ok. And this is for comparatives. Juan Carlos, do you have questions? No? That's okay? No, no. Va. Long okay. adjectives, short adjectives, se comparan, pero no todos van a ir con more. Okay? So you have to distinguish if it is short adjectives or long adjectives. Okay? I have... Y si yo dijera, I, uh -huh. si yo dijera vaya, digamos, Juan Carlos es eh, más inteligente, dijera more eh, intelligent, eh, mm, dan eh, dan dan y la compas. persona uh -huh. eh, ajá, okay. exactly okay no, Juan no. Carlos is more intelligent than Pedro por ejemplo okay that's it okay Very no mencioné good. el nombre no mencioné el nombre porque no quería como dijeron ahí que Joana era más, más Hey, Edgar. <laughs> Joana, Leida. <laughs> okay. No, but those are good examples. I know it's, it's for fun. Okay. It's not real. Okay. So, but this is cool. So, with this topic, guys, what you have to know is that you have to pay attention to the adjective that you have to use. Okay. So, no se vaya a dejar de ir de un solo, de decir, more big. Ay, teacher, this is more easy. No. This is easier. Bigger. Cheaper, more expensive, etc. Okay? I have here, okay, with you the picture of the beach versus the countryside, el, el, el campo. Okay? The beach versus the countryside. Okay? Look at the pictures, okay, we have here. You know the beaches and you know the countryside, Chalate, you know places like, like those. Okay? This is what I want you to do. Right now, guys, you are going to work in pairs, okay? And I want you to make, okay? A, you are going to discuss, you are going to create sentences comparing the beach versus the countryside or the countryside with the beach. For example, well, la playa es más caliente que este la, el, 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 el campo, okay? In this case, hot. Miren, otro adjetivo, hot. H O T, consonante vocal consonante, le duplico la T. Hotter, hotter than. Okay? So you have to make sentences between, okay, comparing the beach and the a countryside. I want you to make five, five sentences, okay? Using comparative, eh, accept the invitation right now, please. And let's start working with your partners.
um, quiet area. Yes, it's more quiet. Mountain is a quiet, 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 quieter. Quieter. Is okay, teacher. In this case, uh, Yader and Edgar, the adjective quiet can be used with both. You can say more quiet or quieter. No problem quieter. in this case. Mm -hmm. okay. Quieter. This is okay. like, a, this is one adjective which is an exception. Mm -hmm. this, okay. It can be both. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. The mountain is quieter than beach. The, the beach. And the beach. And another, uh, the beach is more interesting than the mountain. I don't know. Yes. Porque es, digamos, consonante, vocal, consonante. Pero como lleva, sí, lleva, lleva dos vocales. Ah, sí, lleva, lleva. Sí, es cierto. Pero sí, creo que siempre iría colder. Que es de una sílaba. Uh -huh. Colder, that's okay. Uh -huh. Colder, ok. Okay, the countryside. Countryside. The countryside is colder than beach. Uh, maybe the countryside is more beautiful than beach. Yeah. Quiet, quiet. I don't mm -hmm. Quiet is similar to modern. Eh, esta palabra quiet tiene dos eh, formas. Usted puede decir more quiet o también puede decir quieter, ¿ok? Uh -huh. More quiet, más bonito. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok, <laughs> very good. The village is more quiet than the city. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y Lopango Lake is bigger than Apastepec Lake. Ok, muy bien. Eh, cuatro. ¿Cuatro va? Sí, la anterior Bye. como era, de Beach y... Bye. De, 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 el, 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 de, de hoy era, de, de, de Beach is more rest than the country seat. Ajá, no, la que le seguía. Can you repeat? It's more... ¿Cuál es la teacher? I, I have a, a question about that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Relaxing. Va, ya vio, ya vio. Con relaxing. Relaxing. More. So, it's more, more relaxing, relaxing, relaxing than... Uh -huh. Than, than the, country, the countryside. The countryside. The countryside, perdón. Uh -huh. Countryside. Uh -huh. Es más relajante que la ciudad. Ajá. Uh -huh. El, el, el countryside es el campo. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, en ese caso, se le parecería is more relaxing. Relaxing. Uh -huh. More relaxing. Ajá. Uh -huh. Relaxing. Exacto. Re relaxing. Se le agrega el ING. Countryside. Sí, el adjetivo en ese caso es relaxing. ING. Vale. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Re, eh, okay. Entonces, llevamos, la primera dijimos. Eh, The, the beach. The beach is hotter the beach, than the, the countryside. Beach, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. The beach is hotter than the countryside. Uh -huh. Number two. The beach is uh, more relax, relaxing uh -huh. than the countryside. And the countryside. Side. Countryside. The countryside. Mm -hmm. the, country, 
El cuarto era The Country is eh, divertido. Más divertido eh, que la... The Beach is Funnier. 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 Funnier than the countryside. Than the countryside. The, countryside. Uh -huh. the other is the countryside is more beautiful than the beach. Ok, uh -huh. very good. Ahí están ustedes haciendo, eh, están usando eh, more eh, y, eh, y, y, y are. Uh -huh. es, y si decimos um, the country, the countryside is, eh, se me fue la palabra, eh, es más estresan, eh, um, Ma, eh, more stressing. More stressing. More stressing. Uh -huh. Does uh, beat. beat. Down the beach. Down, uh -huh. down the beach. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Los, adjet los adjetivos ahí para relajante, por ejemplo, es relaxing. relaxing. Para, es, para estresante, stressing. Ok. Stressing. Cansado. Cuando es un lugar, este, o un, por ejemplo, una clase es cansada, entonces dicen tiring, con ING, ¿ok? Tiring. Ajá, un lugar o una actividad puede ser boring, ING, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Pero cuando usted mm. diga que usted está aburrida, usted está cansada, ya no diga con ING, lo dice con ED, tired, bored. Tired. Ajá, that's it. No. Entonces para personas es con ED, con ED. y para cosas, lugares, con ING, con exacto, ING. siempre y cuando, ah, okay. siempre cuando usted su mm. estado de ánimo por un periodo de tiempo corto esté así, pero si usted mm -hmm. desde que nació es aburrida, mm -hmm. entonces va a decir, ay, Beatriz is boring, cuando a usted le digan así con ING, quiere decir que ya su naturaleza como persona es aburrida. Mm. ¿Me entiende? Ajá. Pero no va. Ajá. Acá Entonces, no es aburrida. Ajá. No, no. No, Beatriz es, es interesting. ¿Ves? Es, es, es interesante. Ajá. Entonces, pero, pero digamos que en un ratito se aburrió. Entonces... Y, y ya está. Y le dicen, teacher, Beatriz es bored con ED. Porque solo es un momento está aburrida. aburrida. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Ah, ok. okay. Thank you, teacher. Very nice. Thank you finished, you. right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Ok, excellent. Very good. Yes, I. Ok, we're going to come back to the main session, right? We're going to check the answers, right? That's it. Mm -hmm. Ok. Okay, guys, now we're going to check the answers together. Okay, remember I showed you this picture, right? In order to, to make the sentences, right? Comparing the beach versus the countryside. That's it. I'm going to ask for some volunteers, okay, to give me the, 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 the answers. For example, uh, Cecilia, who was your partner, Cecilia? And Joanna Hugo. And Joanna and Hugo, okay, very good. So, uh, Joanna and Hugo, you can start reading your sentences and Ceci can participate as well. Okay, you three, okay, give me the sentences you have, please. Uh, the countryside is colder than beach. Okay. El pan, el pan. Uh -huh. The beach is emptier than countryside. Ah, the beach is emptier than the countryside. Okay, uh huh. The beach uh, is uh, uh, relaxing in the countryside. Compárelo. Down, 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 down. Eh, okay, póngale down, pero también me le pone el more. Uh -huh. More, more. The beach eh, is perdón, more. Equivoqué, te equivoqué, te okay, equivoqué. go ahead. The, 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 the beach uh -huh. is more relaxing 
than uh, the countryside. Excellent. Is the very country. good. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Hugo, give me other Thank sentence, you. please. Uh, the countryside is more beautiful than beach. Uh -huh, than the beach. Okay, mm. very good. Not Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Any other sentence you have? The Okay, go ahead. The countryside is funnier that beach than beach. Dan, dan, uh -huh, okay, okay, very good. And Ceci, give me the last one. Um, living the beach is cheaper than countryside. Ah, okay, living in the beach is cheaper than the countryside, okay, very good. No, I think the countryside because you have more fruits and vegetables in the beach, yes. only fish. <laughs> okay, that's okay, perfect, very nice. Next, Edgar and who was your partner, Edgar? Yeah, there, right? Yeah, there. Okay, tell me uh, the sentences. Okay, Edgar, you give me some and the other continue with the other one, uh, sentences. Okay, and when well, in the, the mountain, uh, mm -hmm. it's more quieter than beach. Okay. The beach is more interesting than the uh, mountain. Okay, great. Um, the hospital is colder than the El puerto. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the country, the country, is more uh, 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 stressing than the beach. Uh huh. Stressing. Uh huh. Very good. Very good. Uh huh. Edgar. The mountain oh. is weather than the beach. Okay. Can you repeat, please, the other? The mountain is weather. Than the beach is mojado. Ah, weather. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay, okay. Than the uh, beach, very good. The well, last case, is... eh, que podemos decir humid. De humid. Es que húmedo también es la playa porque es humedad de, de calor, right? Humid. Uh -huh. No problem. Okay, very good. Yeah, there. Edgar? The last is the cuckoo is more beautiful than the Puerta del Diablo. Okay, very good, very good. El cuco is more beautiful than Puerta del Diablo. Great, very good. Xiomara, who was your partner? Aleida. Aleida, okay, tell me the sentences, please. In Mexican food is more delicious than Japanese food. Okay. Mm, the cat is smaller than the dog. Mm -hmm. Y lo pango lake is bigger than a pastel lake. Okay. The pizza is more crazy than the salad. Okay. In this case, crazy. Crazier. Crazy. Viene, viene cayendo en la, en la de modern. More modern. Viene cayendo. Hay una, voy a, voy a darles mañana unos adjetivos que pueden ser, este... Al parecer cortos, pero se escriben como largos, right? O vice versa. Por ejemplo, eh, el adjetivo friendly es largo, pero también usted puede decir friendlier o more friendly. Quiet, more quiet o quieter. Okay, that's it. Tomorrow I'm going to give you those so you can have an idea for what it is. Pero son pocos, no crean que son muchos, son... Son poquitos, pero la, la teoría es esta que acabamos de ver. Ok, very good. Uh, any other? Aleida and, and company. The pupusas is more delicious than sushi. Ok, sushi. Ok, very good. Pupusas are, in plural, please. Pupusas okay. are more delicious than sushi. Uh -huh. Ok, very, very good. Ok, Beatriz. The day is hotter than the night. Ah, very nice. The day is hotter than the night. Okay, very good. Okay, and this class is or was better than yesterday's class, right? Remember, good, better, bad, worse, far, farther. Adjetivos largos van con la palabra more y me le ponen then, okay? Los adjetivos cortos, me le pone el adjetivo corto y me le agrega ER, la ER, right? 
y la palabra done, ¿ok? This is the way we make comparisons, right? That's it. The class for tomorrow, guys, is superlatives. Eso ya no es comparar. Eso es decir que algo es mejor que algo más, ¿ok? O que todo. So, this is superlatives. Es bien parecida a las reglas a esta, ¿ok? So, pero lo interesante es cuando ya lo vemos los dos juntos. Nos podemos confundir, ¿ok? But this is uh, for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have uh, the first part of the class. We're going to practice comparatives. And the second part of the class, I'm going to start with superlatives, ¿ok? Uh, watch the videos in the platform, ¿ok? You can watch the videos as many times as you can. So you can come here to the class, ¿ok? With previous knowledge. If you have questions or comments, let me know. Remember, I'm here to help you out. Por ahí estaba viendo el midterm, el examen, el que tienen hasta ahorita. Ya tienen que haberlo hecho o empezado al menos, porque ya la próxima semana, chicos, estaríamos terminando el primer mes, ¿ok? El, el, el módulo del pre-intermedio 3, ¿ok? So do the exercises. And if you have questions, let me know. Questions, guys? Comments about this topic? Eh, perdón, teacher. Yes. ¿Y usted en qué, en qué lado, en qué, en qué, en, en cuál vamos en la plataforma en la que usted está dando la clase? Sección 4, section 4. Uh -huh. ah, okay, Comenzando okay, okay. section 4, ok. Toda esta okay. semana tenemos section 4 y la otra comenzamos y terminamos section 5, ok. Que yo la 3, la 3, 4, la he hecho y no me ha dado. No le da, ok. Este, escríbame a mi WhatsApp personal, así, no en el grupo, sino que saque mi, mm. mi número ahí y me escribe y me le tomo una foto a donde le está saliendo mal el ejercicio. Yo le voy a identificar los errores para que lo vuelva a hacer bien, ok. Ok, That's porque yo voy, yo voy por la 46 ya en la plataforma, ah, ya okay. subí el, el, unos ejercicios, los, los exámenes casi ya los hice. Ok, very so, good. Esa es la que me ha quedado la 34. Ok, ok, let me know, ah, okay. ok, vía WhatsApp, okay. great. Ok, guys, well, thank you for joining the class tonight. I will see you tomorrow at 9 p.m., ok. Take care, okay. good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night.